There's really nothing better than getting paid every single month without having to do anything. And the easiest way for the average person to do this is through dividend stocks. But the question is for every investor, what stock should I buy in order to get this income? Although I definitely don't have the answer for everything stock market related, I think I found two large cap, high dividend paying, cheap stocks to buy that are both trading under $15 a share that I will reveal in this video and discuss why I think they're no brainer opportunities to add a bit of income to your portfolio. Before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because I will be posting dividend stock videos just like this one every few days. So the first stock I want to talk about is AT&T ticker T. AT&T stock is most definitely a controversial one and one that many investors would suggest to steer away from, however its current price is definitely something that is hard to ignore. The main reason many investors don't think this is a good purchase is for the same reason that I think it is worth taking a look at right now, declining stock price. It's true that to find a time when AT&T stock was similar to where it is now, you'd have to go back to the early 1990s, but you could also look at that from a different point of view and think that this beaten down telecom stock is pretty cheap. The first thing that you should take note of is that AT&T has a sky-high dividend yield. AT&T currently yields at just about 8%, which is way above average on similarly large companies. Although this dividend has had issues in the past, the dividend is also getting safer as the company continues to pay down its debt, which is why the company is trying to plow as much money into debt reduction as it can right now. This dividend will be unlikely to grow over the next few years, but even so, 8% is really hard to ignore. In addition, AT&T has plenty of cash on hand. The company is still on track to make around $16 billion of free cash flow just this year, which will use to pay down its debt from a failed media business. AT&T also has a super low valuation currently at just around $100 billion, and the way it is currently priced makes it seem like it's about to implode. This isn't actually because it's about to implode, but rather because pessimism from investors is at all-time high due to the debt that I've been mentioning earlier. Despite this, second quarter report looked good, and the shockingly low price seems like a huge bargain right now. So let's actually talk about the business for a second though. Even though the rate has slowed, AT&T is actually gaining wireless subscribers each quarter, which right now is super impressive. This last year, AT&T gained 2 million postpaid subscribers, and average revenue per customer went up marginally, which is okay. Compare this to Verizon, arguably their biggest rival who has been losing subscribers while AT&T has been doing a good job at retaining customers and market share. In addition, AT&T is growing their fiber internet business on top of their wireless core business. This new section of their business is now big enough that any losses coming from their wireless side can be at least slightly offset by this new revenue stream. AT&T's fiber internet costs a good amount more than its older offerings, so AT&T adding a quarter of a million fiber customers helps make up for losses elsewhere. This new revenue stream makes it so AT&T is going to be more resilient and will bring in more cash every year. Overall, this company is very cheap right now, and their business looks steady despite market opinion. This stock still does have some risk though due to high debt, so it may be something you want to consider, but I suggest doing a little bit of research yourself to see if it fits your portfolio's need for diversity and in income. Now the second stock I want to talk about is Ford Motor Company, ticker F, which is currently trading for around $12 a share. Ford is arguably one of America's most recognizable car companies, and it currently trades at a P.E. ratio of about 12, which I say is about fair for this company. The most important bit about Ford stock is that it pays a lucrative dividend at around 5%, which it pays quarterly. In addition, the company is not afraid to pay out special dividends to shareholders, which can be massive. Earlier this year, they paid out a special dividend that when combined with the regular dividend totaled 80 cents. And if this was their normal dividend, even though it's obviously not, their dividend yield would be 26%, which shows you just how big this special dividend was. Their dividend in addition to their special dividends are astounding and you can clearly see that via these two charts I'm going to put up on screen. This first chart is Ford stock versus the S&P 500 over a few decades and as you can see the S&P 500 handily beats it. However, we're now going to switch the graph and if we include Ford dividends, Ford stock is not up 500% but rather 6,200% over the same period of time showing how much their dividends really matter. In the second quarter, Ford posted a year-over-year -year gain of 12% in revenue and net income tripled to just under $2 billion. Cash flow from operations is $5 billion and Ford also has $30 billion in cash as well as $47 billion in liquidity. The reason I'm bringing this up is because it means that Ford's dividend is likely safe unless a major economic problem would occur such as another pandemic. Ford is also much better poised to transition to the world of EVs. This is because Ford has dumped tons of capital into its electric car manufacturing and research and development. However, it's still important to note that their traditional gasoline lineup is still making good profits. 
In addition, they're retaining some of their muscle car fans by continuing their classic pony car, the Mustang. While the Chevy Camaro and Dodge Challenger are going to be discontinued soon, which will help strengthen Ford brand loyalty to dedicated car enthusiasts. This brand loyalty is super valuable because repeat business for car companies like this is super, super good and it's going to help Ford drive up profits in the future. In total, Ford and AT&T's high dividend gives investors tons of value, and they should be good dividend stocks to think about adding to your portfolio. I will warn though, both of these stocks I would suggest not making your biggest position or even your second or third biggest. However, adding one of these stocks as one of your smaller positions is definitely a play I think could pay off nicely in the long term if you need the diversification. Thank you for watching this short video about these two stocks. If you have any opinions you want to share in the comment section below, please make sure to do so, and if you have other stocks that you think think are even better than these two, do not hesitate to put it in the comments below. Thank you.